In this video, I'm going to talk about, briefly talk about, the side effects of botulinum complex injection. Now, we have already spoken about botulinum complex in other videos and we have said that it is a protein molecule and that it irreversibly blocks the transmission of neuronal impulses through the synapse. So, the when there is an impulse that comes to the nerve ending, that does not get through to the synapse therefore obviously that impulse will not act on the target muscle or target organ. Now botulinum complex what is available in this country is, is called Botox is an injection that also we have said. We know that it can be used for hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating. We know that it can be used to change the shape of the face. It also can be used to treat the wrinkles in the face. There are also medical uses of botulinum complex, like for instance, migraine, acute backache, backache, yes. And uh, in cerebral palsy, the condition known as cerebral palsy, some people have what is called torticollis or spasmodic torticollis. This also can be treated with botulinum complex, usually for medical purposes when botulinum complex is being used. What is being used is quite a high dose. But in cosmetic uses, we do not use such high doses. We use very, very small doses. So what can be the side effects? Obviously, it's an injection. Because it's an injection, when you inject, there will be some pain. That's possible. But there are ways of managing the pain by anesthetizing. Usually, an application of anesthetizing cream or a gel is sufficient. Then, can there be bruising? Yes, there can be bruising. What is bruising? Bleeding under the skin or in the area where you inject, where you inject botulinum complex, there can be bleeding. That also usually dissipates or it softens after a week or two and that is that can be very easily managed therefore. And there are serious side effects. Not when you use botulinum complex in cosmetic for cosmetic purposes. However, there is a side effect that should be spoken about that is none other than ptosis or drooping of the eyelid. Now, th this can be a disabling side effect if you get this. Now, when this happens, what can we do? There are certain treatments that can be carried out if you get this, unfortunately. However, in experienced hands, it's quite rare and it does not happen. But if it happens, there is treatment and usually by about two or three months, the drooping of the eyelid reverses and the eyelid goes back to the normal uh, normal which is pre-treatment so it will start the drooping will eventually eventually reduce so that is that is a brief brief summary about the side effects of botulinum toxin and I hope you will therefore appreciate that it is quite a safe treatment.